Welcome to another episode of IHNA and IHM Career Australia. I'm Vinesh Palan. We are on a mission to decode and understand what's happening in the market right now and what are the, partic- what are the specific things that people, uh, be it job seekers or everyone in general, can do to improve their careers. Uh, today, we have uh, probably uh, a person who is in most demand right now. We have a video coach with us, Yana Martins. Uh, welcome to the show, Yana Martins. Hi, everyone. Thank you so much for having me. It's a pleasure having you, uh, Yana. So we are doing social distancing right now. Can we as humans ever do that? How have, we, how have you been coping with uh, social distancing, Yana? Um, honestly, I've been loving it. <laughs> 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 I'm actually um, find, um, find it quite inspiring for a difference because I've noticed that I, it helped me to realize the things that's important for me right Absolutely. now, get rid of the all external noise and actually um, have a bit of a bit of quiet moment as well, prioritize and make a plan to move forward. Absolutely. So it's, it's, I think it's time to look inside what you actually need, what you don't actually need and give your all your focus on what you need. Uh, so video is becoming all the more important right now, be it meetings, interviews, online conversation. And there is so much video content out there. What, what, what are your thoughts on that, Yana? Um, I think the video is just the best communication tool. Like, you know, before we thought that video is maybe like something fancy, something that only uh, been done in Hollywood and things like this. <laughs> now we need to uh, realize that uh, video is just another medium for communication between people. It could be between employees, it could be between the recruiters, it uh, could be just between the friends. It's just a um, simple way to communicate. And why um, we often underestimate that we have to be prepared to that, right? But th- we have to be actually prepared to face the video, right? Definitely, there is a few tricks and tips that uh, you can use to instantly improve how you look in front of the camera. Um, and yes, so then we in front of the camera, we do need to count the surroundings as well because uh, people's first impression will depend not only um, not only on how you look, but what's what's going on around you as well, because that's the visuals that they can see on the screen. Absolutely. And what are the funny things or what are some weird things that you've come across so far? I, I'm seeing a lot of videos on Facebook and uh, Instagram of funny things that happen during, meet, uh, during meetings. Have you come across any such videos so far? Yeah, there is a few little mistakes people doing that can be just so quickly fixed. Um, yes, we are really forgiving of the quality of content at the yeah. moment because as soon as uh, as long as it's relevant, as long as someone actually have a really good ton- content to communicate, we can be quite forgiving of the visuals. But also, it's getting really competitive out there. We need to remember that yeah. you know we overloaded with the content. So yeah. little things would be is um, just. Basic understanding of the lighting, um, you know, like some people sometimes um, stand um, in front of the window, for example, and all you can see is a silhouette and you can't see people's face, where it's really important to see clearly person's face because that's the main thing to communicate with person. That's how we uh, pick up all the nonverbal cues to then be communicating with the person. So make sure the light is actually in front of you, yeah, not not behind you or on top of you like uh, you know in the office this <laughs> or, all the ceiling on the bottom. <laughs> <laughs> on the bottom yeah the uh, where is this actually <laughs> you always have where that example don't you? <laughs> yeah yeah hello yeah. zombies coming yeah um so yeah just make sure it's simply in front of you that's just the easiest way we're not trying to get any movie set here mm-hmm. we're just trying to do look reasonable so make sure the light is in front of you can you also uh, show that a quick fix lamp that you had that can be used as a lighting? <laughs> yes. The the amazing softbox, yeah. So yeah. what you can do if you don't have any lighting at home, grab any lamp, yeah, any lamp that you have, and uh, just put a piece of paper um, on top. So it's just diffusing the light. So instead of having like eyes, uh, light just straight, straight in your eyes, 
uh, the paper helps you to diffuse it so it's more soft. So it's not like uh, creating, you know, harsh shadows yeah. um, compared to the direct light into your face. That's and obviously um, avoid the harsh sunlight as well. So if the harsh sunlight uh, shining on your face, it it's, wouldn't, wouldn't look good on the video either. That's a very easy quick fix and I'm sure everyone has a lamp and everyone has a paper that they can use uh, uh, to, uh, to make the lighting look so much better than what you are. Now let's get into some more uh, tips and tricks that uh, one can use to improve their, their appearance on, the, on, on, on a video. Camera position, what, what do you have to say yes. about that? Um, again, really simple, really straightforward. Just uh, make sure the camera on your eye level as much as you can. So it's obviously it's easy fix if it's on your phone, if you're filming on your phone, because you can just lift your phone. But then we often see when people sit on a desk, the laptop is too low and we end up, you know, looking up people's nostrils. Yeah. <laughs> not the best look, yeah. not the most flattering one. And you don't want it, you know, too high and, uh, you know, do the duck face. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so, so what are you aiming for? You're aiming on the eye level. It's not only because of the shape. It's also a uh, simple psychology here. Then someone is uh, too high, it might look too dominant. And someone too low, it might look too submissive. So uh, then you having a conversation, you know, with potential recruiter or with the client, you want to talk on the same level. So you want to be on the same level with the person because how tall you are, doesn't matter on the camera. <laughs> very, very beautifully said, uh, Yana. We don't think it has, uh, it has a psychological impact being dominant or submissive, but we just, you know, okay, it's a camera, it's a video, let me just pop it, you know. So these are uh, very uh, interesting points that you put forward. Um, another, another tricky part to uh, get right, you know, where to look. So we were doing the uh, uh, meetup last week, we, which where we had five people, and I was always confused: do I look at the person or do I look at the camera? And how? And looking is very important. So, what are your thoughts on that, Diana? You need to try to look directly into the camera as much as you can. I know it can be tricky, especially if you're trying to read um, other people's uh, facial expressions and reaction. But try to uh, glaze between between the looking at the people and looking directly at the camera, especially then you're delivering a piece of the information, trying to look directly into the camera, because if the, there is a few people looking um, at the video screen at the moment, they want uh, this eye contact. Again, simple psychology, you know, and during conversation in real life, we do tend to look in the people's eyes to, to create this trust. So it is a bit more trickier than you trying to look at the person on the screen, and trying to look at the camera. So try to, you know, remain the eye contact with both. Absolutely. Thanks, Yana, for that. Now, laptop versus phone. What is your choice and why do you think one is better or both or, or doesn't really matter? I would choose phone over the laptop um, because uh, usually web cameras that inbuilt in the laptop doesn't don't have a good quality uh, unless you do external uh, video camera. but why would you do it if the phone these days just have like amazing um, exactly. cameras in it? And if it's uh, like one of the last models of the iPhone or Samsung, I'm not going to advertise anything <laughs> yet. <laughs> uh, they even have depth of field, you know, this nice, then the background a bit blurry. Yeah. So phone now can do this um, these days and your video actually will look semi-professional. But it's also important that you don't hold the phone or, or how does that work? Um, go to eBay, yeah. <laughs> pay, spend Absolutely. 15 bucks, here we go, you, yeah. your problem solved, yeah? Something yeah. something like this will do will do a job for you, yeah. um, especially if you just need to pop it uh, in front of you on the desk, easy easy fix, so that's, that's the simplest solution. That, that's a really good, uh, because uh, I see people holding the phone and sometimes it falls down or sometimes it shakes and the angle goes all, all off, so it's, it's really important to, that you have a stand or if someone has a make fix, you know, quick fix uh, a strategy for that as well, uh, whatever works for you, make sure it is stable, doesn't shake and uh, it's, it's in a good state. Um, headphones or not? Uh, personal choice, yes, uh, sound is usually better through the headphones. 
Uh, the only thing I don't like, I don't like that you can see them in the shot. So sometimes in some occasions, it just doesn't look like, uh, it looks like you're filming, yeah? Because you have a headphones on. Uh, but yeah, sounds will be better through the headphones. But if you just go for the look, um, you can actually, um, in, the, in the quiet space, you can do it without the headphones. Or you can do this, you know, external clip-ons, microphone. Again, go to eBay. Heaps, heaps of them there. Doesn't need to sp spend like crazy money on it. Yeah, I, I also sometimes get a problem as in where if uh, the receiver or if you uh, have put your laptop on uh, high volume, I sometimes get a feedback and that can completely uh, destroys the communication. So uh, that's one reason that I uh, advise uh, uh, headphones. But again, it's a personal choice and if it works yeah. for you, go for it. Um, background, what about the background, Yana? Yeah, background can tell story about you. And uh, if, if the person see you for the first time on the video call, uh, your background, you know, it's kind of became a part of your personality. So this first impression, usually the background pays two um, functions. So it catching, catching attention and it's telling the story. So it's helped to communicate your message more clearly because it's, it's give a bit of a context context so you know if it's more casual like if are you sitting in your pajamas with your cat on the couch or you're in the in the office um so obviously think through think through about um what sort of impression you want to make to uh people who are watching you on this call or in this video because at the end of the day it's all about their per perception of you before you jump on any call or film any video you want you need to think how you want people to perceive you so what sort of audience it's for? Like, yeah, always think about uh, who is this video for to understand your audience and then adjust the visuals accordingly. What are your thoughts on a uh, simple or blank background? If it's just white, is that good enough? Or what is the uh, what do you perceive when you see someone who has a simple white background? Boring. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. um, Look, if it's um, if it's just a quick call, um, yeah, probably better to have a plain background than some washing behind you. Um, but if we're talking about, then you're constantly talking with uh, clients or like you know with recruiters, and you want to give this like uh, extra impression, I would do recommend put a bit more effort in the background, just. Uh, uh, shooting against against the plain wall. It doesn't need to be something, you know, overly complicated. Again, it's not a movie set. But what always looks good, the simple rule of thought, if you split your screen on like three parts and you think about everything on your background need to be along this line, along the thoughts, it's usually create this pleasant composition. So uh, that's what I'm trying to do with my shelves behind yeah. me, you know what I mean? So I have kind of thoughts there and thoughts yeah. there. Not the most ideal background, but does the job. Right. It, looks, it looks better than boring. <laughs> that's better than boring, yeah. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. so that's, it definitely looks good. Uh, you have a corner and you have uh, uh, quite a good uh, different perspectives over there. So that really looks good on you. Now, uh, coming back to the next question. Uh, you already touched on it. Uh, 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 do you dress up or not? I, I know in, in Naishad's inter, uh, webinar that we had last time, you even though we look formal, we usually don't care what's underneath, right? You don't care if you're in shorts or anything. So what, what are your thoughts and what are your suggestions on that? Um, it really depends on what you're comfortable with. You know, at the moment I'm with like bare feet as well. So it really depends what what's com feels comfortable for you. If you're the person who want to rock up in a video interview and you know, if it feels good, then you fully dress up, do this. Because it's also help, you know, with your emotional state, if it make you feel more com comfortable and more confident. But if it doesn't make a difference, if you want to wiggle your toes underneath the desk, yeah. Why not? That might work more like distress factor for you. So what I want to say about the clothes, so pick something that you comfortable, um, feeling comfortable in, but also what looks good on camera, because what looks look in real life, not always looks good on camera. So camera really likes usually like bold colors, mm -hmm. uh, blue, purple, um, green so black and white usually be careful because it's uh it depends on the lighting it can look different so i would avoid it and avoid anything that blend with your skin 
uh, all like beige colors, like, you know, pinkish, orangey, like, uh, so I would try to avoid the, uh, anything that blending with your skin or blending with the background and also avoid really busy patterns, especially like stripes mm. and they really like small like checks. Avo avoid this because camera will be flickering on, on those ones. Excellent tips. Any, any other special things that we have missed, Diana? I mean, any other tips that you can share? Um, I think it's also important to think about your nonverbal communication. Yes, so all this like visual background is important, but at the end of the day, communication through video is really similar to communication face to face. So we actually following the same communication rules that we uh, follow in the real life, but just with a little adjustment. So you usually make sure that you need to smile. Yes, sometimes you need Rule to even one. over smile on the camera. <laughs> Uh, make sure you smile in the beginning of the your call or the video to welcome the person you know how many people they even they even not sure if they on video or not <laughs> and they you know the video is already going the call is already going and you start yeah. adjusting everything yeah. yeah so try to make sure you give the smile in the beginning so that you're ready to uh welcome welcome your viewers and also um if you're going for like um longer conversation and delivery, I do like to see people's hands mm. as well, uh, because people's hands strongly related to thinking and speaking. Mm -hmm. And then the person uh, show, shows something with the gestures as well. It's uh, help us to um, build this trust again so that we feel that person shows their passion and confidence through these hands gestures as well. Excellent, excellent, Yana. Thanks for sharing all those insights. I'm sure th uh, th those would add a lot of value to our viewers. If people want to reach out to you, how, how can they get, uh, reach out to you, uh, Yana? Um, the best way is to find me on LinkedIn. <laughs> yeah. I live on the LinkedIn 24-7. <laughs> yeah. so it's Yana Martis on LinkedIn and I do um, daily live show at the moment as well so if anyone want to join uh, or you can always visit my website yanamartins.com. Thank you so much for joining with us today, Yana. Thank you so much for inviting me. Yeah, so uh, we, we are trying to decode how, you know, how we can um, uh, sail through the situation that we are in and what, what are the right things that we can do so that we uh, get to the other end of what's happening right now. If you have any questions or queries for us, please write to us at careeraustralia at m4tv.com. AU. We'll continue inviting uh, experts from different fields to uh, share our insights to you. Uh, so until next, uh, until next time, thank you and bye-bye.